Welcome to The Recon Trader. In today's video, I will show you how to configure and deploy a bullish automated crypto trading bot on the Mudrex platform. And had you deployed this bot a year and a half ago, you would be up almost 1000%. And when compared to the market returns, you would have almost doubled the 500% the market went up over the last year and a half. So before we get into the weeds of configuring this bot and getting it deployed, if you're not familiar with Mudrex, they are basically a platform that allows you to create and deploy your own automated crypto trading strategies on your exchange. And what that basically means is you don't actually send money to Mudrex. You end up connecting your exchange through API keys to your crypto trading bot and it ends up sending buy or sell orders on your behalf based on how you configured the strategies. So your funds stay on your exchange and they're as safe as they can possibly be when kept on an exchange. Now you can actually get started for free and the configuration I will show you today, you could actually deploy for free. Now I will leave a link down in the description below. And if you use that link, you'll actually get $25 as a free sign up bonus. So if you decided to upgrade to the premium, which does give you unlimited back testing, and I will show you in the video today how much back testing I actually did on this strategy just to get it dialed in. So that small investment of $16 to me would be well worth the unlimited back testing. In addition to, I always have access to that back testing where on the free version, you only have access to it for one week. And with that all being said, I can tell you the team at Mudrex is legitimate people. I've been on video conferencing with them. They are a legitimate team that actually uses their own platform. So that's enough jaw jacking. Let's get to configuring this bot. So once you have joined the Mudrex platform, you will end up on a dashboard that looks something like this. Now I actually have two active strategies I've configured, my Ichi Crossing and my Recon Bull. If you didn't see the videos on how I set those up, just go check out the Mudrex playlist and you can see how I actually configured both these strategies and I've done profit update videos on them as well, but you can see they're doing pretty good. But today I wanna add a third strategy to my current portfolio. And so the first thing you would need to do if you're new to the platform is actually add your exchanges and you would just go to your user tab up here in the right hand corner, scroll down to the exchange API keys, click on that, and you can choose from Binance, Binance US, Coinbase Pro, although the fees will probably kill you there. Uh, today I'm gonna deploy on Binance US, which my other two strategies we were just looking at are currently on. And to add your API keys, all you need to do is click on add keys. You would select the exchange like Binance US. You can name it, click next. And then you would obviously need to go to Binance, create your API keys, and then cut and paste them in the key and secret key spots and click add key and you'd be good to go. And then just as a confirmation, you wanna make sure the status is key is active. And now we're ready to configure the actual strategy. So I just jump back to my home dashboard, click on strategies, and then I could choose from some of the strategies I've been working on. In this case, I'm going to create a new strategy over here on the right hand side. And I have a choice between the visual editor or external signals. Now I've done some videos on external signals like trading views, sending alerts, but today we're doing the visual editor. So I click on that. And now I'm on the visual editor dashboard. I need to start dragging over my blocks to build my strategy. And the first block I'm gonna drag over is gonna be a pattern. I'm gonna actually do an engulfing bullish pattern to trigger my buy signals. So once I've dropped the block, I can click on the block click on the pencil and now I need to search for my pattern and it's going to be the engulfing pattern and I want it to be bullish and under advanced parameters all the defaults are going to work for this strategy and now I need to connect the block to the buy button and then next you want to click on the actual connection line on that pencil and I only want it to open long positions and I'll name it long. So now it's set up to only open long positions. Now I need a sell block. 
And for the cell block, I'm going to select the indicator block and I'm going to drag and drop that onto my dashboard. And again, I just click on the block, then the pencil to configure it. And we search for RSI. And I'm going to stick with the 14 period RSI. And I want it to be crossing down through the value of 90. And then my advanced parameters. And then the moving average type, I'm sticking with the default, which is your SMMA. Click OK. And now I need to connect that block to the cell button. Again, I'm going to click on that connection line and the pencil. And I only want it to close long positions. And I'll name it cell. So now I have both my buy and my sell blocks configured, set, ready to go. The next step is I need to set up my stop loss. So I just click on the stop loss button and then the pencil. And then I tick off the percent stop loss. And in this case, I'm going with 4.7%. And I've tested it trailing. I do not get as good of results. So, this is, so I'm not going to tick that box. And so I'm set and I'm click OK. And then last, I need to set up my take profit. So I click on the take profit button and the pencil. And again, I'm ticking the percentage take profit. And in this case, it's 14%. And it's going to be trailing. And the trailing limit will be 4%. And what this all equates out to is once my position has achieved a 14% profit, as long as it does not sell off more than 4%, it will continue to follow the price action up. And so I could lock in bigger profits and the moment it does pull back 4%, it will close the position. Now, the last thing I'll do is name the strategy. We'll name it engulfing Toro for bull. Click save. Strategy successfully saved. Let's back test it and see how we did. So I have a choice of what exchange I want to back test on and it's going to be Binance. The market or your quote currency is going to be USDT. And then the asset will be ETH. And then the tick interval will be one hour or the one hour candles. Start back test and you'll see the back test running. And while that back test is running, I will show you on my original configuration of this bot how much back testing I actually did. There are a whole lot of back tests that I ran through. You can see I was on version 65, version 66, 67, 68. But you can see all these different versions were now into the 40s, 30s, 20s. I think you get the point. I did a ton of recon to come up with a profitable strategy. And so you need to do similar recon if you want to have truly profitable strategies. And with that being said, this video is intended as a how to configure and deploy, not a how to copy. If you copy my strategy, odds are you will not have the same results that I end up with. So let's jump back over and check out the actual results of the strategy we just configured. And so the back test is complete and I'll click on the little actions box. And we'll get a more detailed view of the actual results. And so you see the results that I actually started this video out with of almost a thousand percent return in a year and a half versus the market return of 500. So you almost doubled the market. Now that's in a year and a half. Now for me, I'm actually more interested in a shorter time frame as far as results. Let's jump down to six months. I have a better idea of what the market was doing six months ago and we'll hit recalculate and you can see here they actually have the fees. Now my fee would actually be a little less than this. It would be 0.75 as I use the Binance token, the BNB token to pay my fees. So we'll recalculate again and that bumped up my numbers a little bit on the six month period. And for a six month period, the bot still did very well. It averaged 19% a month for overall returns of 187. Now, a little more realistic, the ETH market has been booming over the last six months and therefore you get a more realistic view of how your bot would do. 
Now I'm going to narrow this down one step more to the three month and recalculate. And these numbers are a little more meaningful to me, the three month numbers. Now, in theory, if the market continues to behave the way it has over the last three months, this is what I could potentially expect. And we'll drop down for more stats. And so I would be looking at monthly average returns of 25%. I'll take that all day long. The Mudrex platform has their own performance score. They'll give your strategy. In this case, it's rated as an eight. An eight is considered good. You can see it's in green. I think previously it was a seven and it was in yellow and it was right on the border of average or good and good is kind of their best score. Eight, nine, and 10 are their top scores. Now my max drawdown is 21% and the strategy only had 21 trades during the three month period. And so you action junkies, that's only about seven trades a month. If you're looking for this spot to be extremely active, it probably isn't going to be a strategy for you. The sharp ratio is four and a half, which is basically a measurement of risk. Anything over one is considered acceptable. I prefer it to be over two. It's starting to push a little high, meaning I'm not taking enough risk. Once we get in over five, then I might not be taking enough risk, but we're still good. Profit factor, again, a measurement of risk. And at this case, it's at 2.33. Anything over one is considered acceptable. I always prefer to be over two and it is. Now the overall returns would have been 130%. And so for a three month period, I'm definitely winning the battle. And of course the market again with ETH booming during those three months outperformed the overall return. So had you just bought and held ETH three months ago, you would have outperformed the bot. But had I come to you three months ago and said, I can get you a 130% return on your money, I'm pretty sure most investors would have been happy with that. Now the bot had a winning streak of three and a losing streak of four. The strategy only won 42% of the trades and that is absolute proof if you manage your risk versus reward that you don't have to win every trade to be extremely profitable. And my risk versus reward can be measured by your average loss. And in this case, it's almost 5% versus your average profit which in this case is 17%. And so that is actually a one to about three and a half risk versus reward. And that is a very solid risk versus reward. That's generally what I shoot for is about a one to three to a one to four risk versus reward ratio. And then my average exposure time was about three days. So let's scroll down and look at some of the actual trades. And here you can see, again, we had a stop loss set at 4.7%. And you're going to probably get slippage. And what I like about the Mudrex backtesting, it looks like it actually accounts for slippage. Because you can see that's over the 4.7%. Here's a 5%. Here's one that's less than 4.7%, which is also, which occasionally the slippage is in your favor. Again, keeping the losses small. And the wins, there's a 24%, a 17% win. And if we scroll back up, sure enough, the largest losing trade was 5.91%. And my largest winner was 24. I'm, I'm still keeping that risk under control. Now, with that all being said, I actually want to look at Binance US because that's where I'm going to deploy this on. So let's do a, a quick back test on the Binance US exchange. So I just come back over here to back test. Switch exchanges to Binance US, start back test. And right away, you might look at this 9.5% profit versus the Binance exchange profit of 15, almost 16%, and think that's not as good. But click on the action, and I'm going to break this down to the three month period with the same fee structure because Binance US and Binance both give you the discount if you use the BNB token to pay your fees. So I've got the correct fees. Now we're just going to recalculate for the three month period because that's actually what I'm more interested in is in the shorter term. And lo and behold, I'm actually more profitable. Uh, my average is 34% a month versus the 25%. My overall returns is 189% versus a market of 247, where on Binance it was only 130 versus 248, pretty much that same amount. So my overall returns 
for that three month period on Binance US improved by almost 60%. That's a pretty big percentage over a three month period. That's 20% more profit per month. My max drawdown dropped considerably to only 16.42 versus 21. So my max drawdown dropped 5%. Now the total number of trades actually increased. It jumped up to 27 trades versus the 21 trades. So I pick up a couple more trades per month and being more successful, again, trades one went up 48% versus 42%. Now my sharp ratio did go up to over five and a half. So I may not be putting on as much risk. My profit factor is still over that two. So that's still satisfactory in my book. The Mudrex performance score is still an eight. So they still consider that to be good. Losing streak of three versus four, which is basically a flip-flop compared to the previous test on Binance. Now my risk versus reward went down a little. Instead of being one to three and a half, it's more like a one to three. Still meets my parameters, however. And my average exposure time dropped by about 12 hours or half a day. And if we scroll down, you will still see similar losses due to my 4.7% stop loss. And you'll see the bigger wins. And that is the overall objective of this strategy. I want smaller losses and the bigger wins. So let's get this strategy deployed. So we jump back over to my dashboard and click on live trades. And I wanna do Binance US for my exchange. The quote currency or the market as they label it is gonna be USDT. The asset will be ETH and the tick interval will be one hour. Click on start live. I'm going to give this bot $500 worth of ammo and use the API keys I already had set up. Now I could choose a different API key. I could configure an API key for each bot, but in this case, all three strategies will be using the same API key. So I'll click next and live trading has started a few seconds ago. And if I jump back over to the homepage, my three strategies are up and running. So I think that pretty much wraps it up. I will be doing an update video on the performance of this particular strategy. So now would be a good time to shoot that subscribe button. If you like this video, do me a favor, spike a like. If you have any questions or comments, leave those down in the comment section below. I will leave a link to Mudrex in the description down below. And if you use that link, you'll get a $25 sign up bonus. And in closing, Never send your money into battle without first doing your recon. See you in the next video.